You do anything with schools, with universities? Uh, with the universities, uh, we actually working with some of the scientists from the U.S. Mm -hmm. and uh, they we actually telling our scientists that mm -hmm. you know science. Obviously, I'm not a scientist, or we don't have a scientist in our group. Mm -hmm. But when we are telling them scientists, we want to make that collaboration between the scientists. So you're helping each other through the technical assistance and as well as the knowledge and skills. So we're trying to build that relationship uh, is in a way from the universities here and then universities in the U.S. Um, so they're collaborating on their own mm -hmm. and then we actually say, okay, you have the science, can we use that for conservation? Because we say our conservation needs to be science-based, it needs to be bringing best practices, unique uniqueness, and it also needs to benefit local communities. Well, in Gujarat, I'm very impressed by what you are doing and Thank what you. you've achieved within this very short period of time. And also, I'm very much inspired by your personal history from where you've come from, from your early efforts to, to do something meaningful for Mongolia at this juncture of her development. Would you please share with the audience with your first, uh, well, trials, I would say, to do something better for the society, for the Mongolian society, with the donations that you've just spoken about? Well, when I f actually was in, um, in college, I was a senior in college at the time, mm -hmm. and I thought, well, you know, I would like to do something for Mongolia. What could that be? It's, some, it's just a process and a thought. And uh, we thought, okay, um, and my sister at the time was with me, and we thought, okay, let's collect donations. Mm -hmm. uh, what could it be? We don't, obviously don't want money from the people and say, because people don't trust and refuse once you start with just collecting money. Mm -hmm. So we said, uh, probably we should collect some clothing, clothing and toys mm -hmm. to send to orphanages mm -hmm. and low-income schools mm -hmm. here in uh, UB. And uh, yes, we did, and it was successful in some terms in our standards. And, but we lived in a very small studio at the mm -hmm. time, and mm -hmm. all of a sudden, it was our studio was full of boxes. Mm -hmm. And then we started filling up the hall in the apartment. And so we thought, and then only two of us had to go through and mm -hmm. clean it up. And mm -hmm. then we thought, can we really do this, all the two of us, you know? Mm -hmm. Or should we actually make it into a formal process? Mm -hmm. That's something very meaningful. Mm -hmm. And after that, uh, donations being sent off to Mongolia mm -hmm. and it's been distributed to a school, um, mm -hmm. in a local school here as well as to an orphanage, mm -hmm. uh, we thought, yes, we did try it, but let's try something more meaningful that exactly what we need to do in Mongolia. Mm -hmm. And in 2007, that's when my trip was about. I was looking at what was going on with ecology and environment mm -hmm. and how our livelihoods were actually changing mm -hmm. throughout the time. Mm -hmm. The reason I wanted to go back to that part of your story is to tell the audience and also to inspire the youth, especially those ones who are studying abroad, that uh, such young people like you do come back to Mongolia, do blend with our society and bring value create wealth and value back to this society. Uh, these days, the government of Mongolia is working hard to call back those Mongolian students, graduates who study in the Western countries and also the advanced economies of the East to return uh, to Mongolia and also work, uh, start working and living for this country. I want your story to be shared and told to as many as possible Mongolians residing abroad to inspire them to tell them there are certain causes to come forward to Mongolia. And I think I like to say, uh, your heart is where your home is, right? Mm -hmm. So this is basically our home, and how can you not have your heart, basically? Mm -hmm. And everybody study, uh, for a younger generation mm -hmm. and for my generation, a lot of, our, a lot of us actually going back, uh, going to the States or mm -hmm. going to Europe, everywhere, to study and to be educated. Mm -hmm. And we are becoming ambitious. Mm -hmm. But I do believe that every one of us have Mongolia in their hearts mm -hmm. and say, yes, I would like to go back if there was something like this happening in Mongolia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I would like to go back if economy was good or mm -hmm. I would like to do this and if, if, if. Mm -hmm. But I think if is created by us. Mm -hmm. So this is not about standing alone. This is coming together for the future of Mongolia because we all miss home. We all miss our families. And even though I came back home every couple times a year uh, to see my family and friends, but you know, you, 
you go and as soon as you leave your country, you know there's some emptiness in you mm -hmm. and then you need to come back. It calls you, right? Yes. So I, th I think that's why we are here. Mm -hmm. And as a person, as a, I can talk from my personal point of view is that I do believe that every Mongolian has Mongolia in their heart and therefore I would like to ask them to inspire each other mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. to motivate each other and not to stand alone but come together to make to be part of the change to make that change and if you're studying abroad or overseas be the bridge not just you know you're going to be home you're going to come home after something happens but make it happen yourself come back home and make it happen and we're all trying to do that so and I don't like to say we're tried because sometimes it's in a way you really don't know what to do. But mm -hmm. that's why I'd like to say, please do your best mm -hmm. uh, to be a part of it, mm -hmm. uh, the system, and understand it. And that's how we can develop it for a better system. Mm -hmm. uh, you can really, we can really do it from abroad. So yeah. you gotta be home. I'm really proud of you. I'm really happy for my country to have girls like you, to have daughters like you. And uh, I, of course, I do support the work that you are doing at Mongol Ecology Center, but I also, I want you to stand in the forefront of uh, mm, uh, the march, of uh, the movement to uh, advance Mongolia with the brains, with the intellectuals that we polished out in the Western world. And uh, it means to say that maybe that if there are some uh, social associations or groups that are working to promote uh, return home, come home, uh, move this drive among, among Mongols. I want you to join those movements. Oh, thank you. I would be happy to. It's a, in a way, brain drain mm -hmm. uh, happening in Mongolia. I do agree because of everybody would like to get better livelihood, right? Uh, is in a way, and that's why there are foreign companies. Uh, they offer higher salaries. I was. I want to say to people, I was there. I was offered higher salaries, I was offered positions. But again, it also goes back to who you are. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you know, I was born as a Mongolian, I'm gonna die as a Mongolian, mm -hmm. so might as well make a change where your home is. Mm -hmm. And I do support people who are actually learning, getting experiences from overseas. Mm -hmm. And But I would like to say, please do contribute that back to Mongolia because at the end, we're all gonna join forces here, we're all gonna get together here because we're, this is where we were born, so. You've basically made the call already by saying these wonderful words. The if conditions are created by ourselves, the barriers are created in our minds, and the difficult part is, comes when the time comes to really break apart those barriers. But these barriers are, I would say, artificial. They are self-made. So therefore, let us follow the advice and call of Unbigur, the guest of Face-to-Face uh, -to -face tonight, and I wish you Many other youth similar to you who have come back to Mongolia with a cause for action, for contribution to betterment of Mongolia society. Thank you. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. And I also want to say to our younger generation and to us is mm -hmm. that you are the future of Mongolia. Mm -hmm. And therefore, let's, let's forget that if something was better, because you can create it yourself and then we can actually join our forces, all our knowledge and experiences that we got from the Western world, and uh, we can actually make that happen in Mongolia. So we would like, I would like to ask everybody to join your friends, inspire each other, motivate each other, and then combine that forces and have a purpose and have a vision and follow that. And you know, you'll have a lot of challenges, but life is not interesting without them, right? Exactly, and we stand tall together. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, with the us, we have today uh, Ramzarik Unbigr, founder and director of Mongol Ecology Center, and at the same time, a girl with a big heart for her land, for her country. Thank you for wa watching us tonight, and I'll see you in my next program. Goodbye.